In the Lake District, the mountain rescue team on the ground have contacted the helicopter. Oh, that's not good. She's got a broken femur as well. Yeah, she needs to get to hospital sharpish. With a broken femur, it is... It's more serious, it is yeah. It's time critical because she could potentially lose a hell of a lot of blood. Yeah. The hiker is deteriorating fast and can't be moved. It means that she may not make it. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to die if we don't get her. Yeah. With plan B time, it's hover taxiing through the mist time, yep. right hand side on. The only option is for the helicopter crew to try to reach her through the fog. Is everyone up for this? Yeah. She's going to die if we don't give it a go. Yep. Yeah. The head injury sounds significant. It sounds pretty good. So, right, we'll give this a go. Visibility is now less than 10 meters. Okay, so still tracking nicely. About 400 meters to go. Ground speed of one. Okay, it's getting steeper as well. So. Yeah, it's getting steeper. And it'll continue to get steeper. Winch operator Paul must make sure the tail and blades don't hit the granite rock face. Got a crack coming in and some trees, for sure. Yeah, this is here is at the moment, obviously. 200 meters to go. This piece is the tree down by the tail. OK, clear there, we're right. Uh, OK, they've got about half a dozen personnel spread out below the casualty, so we just need to be we'll, aware We'll stop when we see someone. That'll help, 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 help us to see him, though, wouldn't it? It would be nice for a person to appear at this point, yeah. About 80 metres and a half to go. Uh, visual, one person, three o'clock, yellow helmet. Range. Uh, 20 units. Okay. Got the rock face in front of you there, please. Happy. Happy with the senses? Yeah, happy with the senses. Yeah, it looks like she's on a stretcher. There is a, obviously, cliff right in front of us, please. Yeah, happy. Oh, this could be easier. The less you know what's in front of you, the better, I think. Thanks for that. It was very difficult to see. We were even struggling to see the guys on the ground themselves. You're going to go down there in a minute. It's it's, it's nerve-wracking. Rock and roll. Check him out, friend. I'm stood in the doorway thinking, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> I'm doing this because that person down there needs me to do this. I'm not doing it because I want to. <laughs> I just got better when you go up there. Right. What? 